All right, welcome to Right On with John Crane. And today I'm gonna to be working on this Kennedy toolbox here. Now I got this uh, toolbox recently, purchased it and it came with some tools in it. And uh, I think it's a great box. I think it's kind of a, a rare box. It's in this green wrinkle finish. And right, usually you see these Kennedy boxes in the brown finish. And so I thought it was a, a really cool find. And then uh, I got talking with my friend, uh, Ty Burho, and uh, Ty was asking about uh, purchasing this box right here. And uh, I think that's great. I think uh, he'll really uh, like this box. I have so many Kennedy boxes. Uh, I'm happy to send this one uh, his way. So, but before I do send it out uh, over to Ty there, I'm gonna clean this up and uh, I'm gonna pull the drawers out, uh, put some new felt in the drawers, tune up the drawer glides, and just get this thing uh, looking nice. I'm not gonna do like a whole restoration on it. I kind of like some of the old patina and the old markings on it that tells a little bit of a story there. Uh, so I'm just gonna clean it up a little bit and just get it functional and uh, get this box back into service. So, all right, let's uh, dive into this project. All right, I'm just gonna start by uh, taking this box apart here. And uh, what I wanna do is at first, I'm gonna take these drawers out. And uh, you can see inside here that these drawers are definitely uh, a little lackluster there. All the felt's kind of uh, torn up there. So I'm gonna replace all of that. But to do that, uh, I'm gonna start pulling these drawers out. And there's these little clips on the uh, glides here, right? And uh, you can just pull these right out. And uh, it's just a little metal clip. And here's a, uh, a close-up here of that metal clip. And uh, I'll zoom in right there. And you can see where these little metal clips uh, come in and out here, right? This slides into this little tab right here and locks in. And that keeps, uh, it's like a little stop that keeps the drawer from coming out there. Now just pop this drawer out right here. And uh, you can see right here, there's a little uh, clip right here that sticks out, right? And that's where that little metal clip on the edge of this, uh, presses up against that little stop right there, and that keeps this drawer from uh, sliding out. I just have this box on its back here, and you can see on these right here are more of those little clips. So I'm just gonna pull those out and uh, pull these drawer slides right out. All right, now I'm gonna uh, pull some of this old felt out of here and see how this comes out. I know this is all glued in there, but yeah, it looks not too bad there. Looks like it was glued down in little spots here and there. All right, cool. All right, now I'll do the same with these drawers. Boy, these are looking, uh, these are looking pretty bad in here. Oh my God, it's like an old uh, rat nest in here. This tool right here, this uh, Titan scraper, I don't know, you know, it's just some generic scraper, but it's got a long handle on it and you can put uh, different flat razor blades in there. And you can also put these uh, plastic razor blades in there for scraping glass and, you know, something you don't want to put the metal up against. But, uh, this has just been a great little tool since I've had it, and uh, it's a great little scraper. All right. All right, 10 hours later, I got all the felt out. And uh, no, that took me about, I don't know, a half hour, 45 minutes to scrape out all the felt with the help of uh, my little friend here. 
right? You could probably scratch that felt out pretty good. Uh, but I think what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go outside and I'm gonna clean these up gently with some uh, soap and water. Just get the grease off and clean this whole box down. As you can see, it just has like a, a lot of dirt, you know, on this box here. These uh, drawer glides here, they still have like some old uh, like white lithium grease type of thing all dried up on there. So I'm just going to throw these in this little bucket here and uh, dump in a little uh, WD-40 here and uh, just give these a, a little cleaning. And I'm also going to throw in these uh, all those little side clips too. And on the uh, drawer glide here that is attached to these drawers, I'm just going to come in with the wire brush and just make sure uh, those are all nice and cleaned out. All right, under the lid of the box and in a couple of the drawers, there's a little bit of rust. So I'm just going to clean that up before I put the felt in these boxes. I'm just going to come in with the little wire wheel here. That rust is a little bit more stubborn than I thought there, so I'm gonna try to come in with this uh, wire cup wheel here. This uh, little Kennedy latch here has got a little bit of uh, rust on it, so I'm just gonna run over it here with this little wire brush. All right, now I'm gonna come in and just uh, straighten out some of these little dings and dents here and there and uh, just come in with the various pliers, you know, come in with the uh, the linesmen's here, or I got like the uh, the flat vice grips there to straighten out some of these uh, little crinkled edges here. Now I'm just gonna come into these uh, drawers here with a little acetone. And I'm just gonna use this to uh, wash out the inside of the drawer here and make sure I get out any kind of old glue residue. And uh, this is just to ensure that the glue that I put on here to hold the felt in is gonna adhere nicely uh, to the inside of these drawers. So just a little wash down. Acetone does a, uh, a great job, too, of uh, wicking away water. So uh, it's nice to give this a, a wipe down and it will uh, dry out the metal pretty good. All right, what I've uh, just done here now is I've cut a bunch of templates here for the felt that will... Uh, for the felt that will go in the bottom and in the sides of these drawers. So I just wanted to cut these out out of some uh, brown rosin paper there and then drop these in just to make sure they fit really nice. And then I can use these as the template, as a pattern uh, for cutting out the felt. And uh, I have, uh, I got this nice roll a thick black felt here. And this uh, felt here is uh, about an eighth inch thick and it's really nice and uh, durable stuff here. So I'm gonna roll this out and uh, cut out some of these patterns. All right, I got this uh, roll of felt here and uh, the largest uh, piece of the pattern that we got here is 20 inches. And so I think if I cut off uh, one slice here, 
at 20 inches, uh, then I can get uh, all the other pieces out of that slice right there too. So I'll just come in and I got a, uh, a silver tip Sharpie here to mark this. And then this is nice to come in with, uh, I got a eight foot straight edge here. And I'm gonna come in and just line up these marks. And this is where I wish I had uh, a whole bunch of these uh, cutting mats here. I could have a, a whole table lined with these guys. All right, now with that cut there, now I can start coming in uh, with the pieces of my pattern here and do a little layout. And uh, same thing here, I'm gonna come in with the Sharpie and just put a little, little mark right there and a little mark right there and then come in with the square All right, now I'm just coming in. I'm gonna test fit these pieces and see how they uh, how they go in there. And uh, you know, before you get the glue in there, it's nice just to take a look real quick and make sure everything's lining up just right. And uh, that looks great. There's a couple of these little uh, plunger deals here that hold the uh, the door in on the front there, the cover. And I'm gonna have to make a couple little notches right around those so those can go up and down. All right, I got all the felt cut and uh, ready to go into these drawers here. And uh, what I'm gonna use is the uh, Super 77, uh, the contact uh, adhesive here. And uh, I like to spray it onto one side, right? Onto the, all the bottoms and the sides of the felt there. And then another coat into the drawers themselves there and then uh, wait a little bit and then stick the two together. Uh, but what I need to do now is to mask off uh, the sides of the drawers here. All right, I got these pieces of felt laid out and I got the uh, tool chest here all masked off for, uh, for the Spray 77 there. So I'm gonna start here just doing the top of this right here and uh, give this can of uh, Spray 77 a good shake there. All right, but I'm gonna give the, the felt here a good coat. that sprayed out. I'm going to peel this masking all off right now. All right, I've let this uh, dry for just a couple minutes and now I'm going to come in and put these two pieces together, right? And sometimes this can be a little bit tricky to get this to go in there just right. You know, it wants to stick All right, now I'm gonna come in with the uh, with the back right here and uh, stick this guy right in there. Wow, that's looking great. 
Ty Burho, getting ready for a, a nice toolbox coming your way. All right, and I got these small pieces here cut for the front. All right, and then uh, last but not least, we got these little side pieces to drop right in here. And sometimes it is nice to come in. I do have a just a big cold chisel here and just come in and to press those corners in nicely. Just make it all look uh, nice and neat right there. All right, and I'll come in and do the other side. Yeah, that looks great. Same thing, this is nice. Just come in with this cold chisel right there and that just cleans up all those corners and makes it look real nice. All right, that's awesome. That's looking great. All right, a couple minutes has gone by there in uh, TV land and time to pop this one in. And let's see if we can do this without screwing it up. Oh yeah, looking good, looking good. Come in with our little chisel right here. Awesome. Look at that. Look at that. That looks great. So nice. All right, I got all the felt in these drawers and uh, it all came out just really nice. Uh, I'm really pleased with that. And uh, I like that this is nice, uh, thick, heavy, durable felt that I got in there. And uh, so now it's time to uh, stick these drawers back in. And uh, first what I gotta do here, so I'm gonna turn this on its side here and I'm gonna put these drawer glides uh, back in and put the little uh, clip right here. Snap that in uh, to each drawer slide as it goes in. And uh, I cleaned all these up and got all the crud off of them and uh, actually took some of them and straightened them a little bit. And uh, so now I'm just gonna hit these uh, just with a little uh, touch of grease. Got the box of uh, greases out and uh, you know, there's lots of choices uh, here, and uh, I might just go with some, uh, you know, like some bearing grease here. Yeah, I got the white lithium there, and uh, here's another red lithium. But uh, I'm just going to put a light dab of grease on there with a little brush, not too much. And, uh, you know, sometimes I like going with that uh, Tri-Flow. That's another nice uh, lubricant. And I might put a, uh, a shot of that Tri-Flow in this lock here to get that all nice and lubricated. I really like, uh, like that for locks. But for these uh, drawer slides here, right, I'm just gonna put a, uh, a quick hit of, uh, of this grease right here. Just the tiniest bit. I don't, I don't wanna overload this at all. And so I'm just gonna take this brush right here, right? And just give this uh, a quick once over. These do have some uh, WD-40 on them already and it's actually cutting the grease just a little bit, but I'm just putting a, a little tiny dab of this, just brushing it on there. And that's all I'm gonna put on there. And uh, so same thing on, on the other side here. 
All right, and then as soon as I get the, uh, the grease on there, all right, I'm just gonna slide this in, and then now it gets uh, this little clip. And uh, you poke this little clip right in there, and then it snaps right into that hole. And that hits against uh, this little stop right here that's uh, sticking up. So, so these go in and out uh, pretty easily. All right, now I'm gonna uh, insert one drawer at a time here. And uh, the way to go here is to pull these uh, glides out just like that. Right, and then to come in with the drawer here and hold the, the glide out on each side, you know, while you're putting it in there. All right, and I got the drawer glide all the way out there, and then I'll come in with a clip just like this, go into that hole, and then that snaps right into that hole right there, and now that's uh, inserted there, right? And uh, that's working pretty nice now. I like that. There's a, just a little close-up of that clip right there. All right, the only thing left here is just to uh, tune up this lock a little bit. Yeah, right there. See that little latch that comes down? Uh, that was bent back, uh, you know, probably from people, you know, pushing this back into it when it was already down. So. I had to go in there and kind of pry that forward, but now it, uh, it seems to be working and locking just fine. And uh, it's kind of cool that this one has a key at all because so many times I get these uh, Kennedy boxes and the key is gone missing and you you know you never find it, right? Uh, so this is great that this, this has a key here and this will be good uh, for my friend Ty there. He's got a couple, uh, young kids there and he was asking uh, if this one locked up, you know, to uh, keep the hands out of the drawers there. So uh, the only thing I got to do here is uh, bend this key back and, uh, and then I think uh, I need to make a little custom keychain here for the, uh, for the new car. All right, now I'm going to come in and uh, just give this lock here a quick shot of the, uh, the tri-flow. Uh, I really like this lubricant, especially uh, for locks. It, I think it's got a little silicone in there, and uh, that goes in there and sticks uh, into the lock mechanism there. And uh, just uh, a quick little shot right there. And then I'll uh, stick the key in here and just give this uh, a couple back and forths. And just get that nice and lubed up in there and yeah it feels better already there that feels great all right i got a piece of uh nine ounce veg tan here and i think i'll just start out just like this here Right on, right on. Uh, 
Got the box, the Kennedy box here, all finished up, and uh, got the keys here to the new car. And uh, right, imagine if uh, on the prices right, instead of uh, cars and stuff, you won uh, toolboxes or uh, milling machines. That that would be pretty cool. But anyhow, uh, I'm really happy with how this box turned out. And uh, I really do like this uh, green wrinkle finish on this Kennedy box. I know it's kind of a, a rare box and uh, almost even hard to uh, uh, see this leave the shop right now. Uh, but uh, I know it's going to a great home. It's going out to my friend uh, Ty there in Colorado. And uh, I know he'll enjoy it and get some good use out of it. And, uh, you know, maybe uh, he can uh, shoot some pictures back and show uh, how he's filling up the box there with tools and such. All right, right on. I hope you guys enjoyed this project and I'll see you all soon.